to the Angel Baby Show. We just had an amazing interview with Mara Justine, who is on season 24 of The Voice. Please go watch her blind audition on YouTube because I think it'll blow you away. She was so kind and friendly and inspiring. Um, And now we're going to talk a little bit about something that Ava and I have been using for the past year. And it is kind of a game changer for anyone who has any work in like the creative space or really any space. Um, We are going to talk about Muse. Ava, do you want to describe what Muse is at all? Or Yes. Muse is the holy grail for me. I absolutely love Muse. And I'm not even just saying that because Elisa and I work with like the owner of Muse, but we've been kind of on this Muse train for a really long time. And basically it's like your own website. Um, So like Elisa's is like muse.io slash Elise Thurston or something. Um, I don't know if that's exact. Actually, yeah, muse.io slash Elise Thurston. And mine's like muse.io slash Evelyn Thurston. And pretty much it's basically just like a digital portfolio of literally anything that you want to showcase about yourself. I use it specifically for singing, modeling, um, journalism, photography, and pretty much anything that is like visual or have or like an Instagram or YouTube video, like for the voice, I have like a whole page for my singing. And so I have, um, you know, my audition and then also my duet with Orlando. And I have little cute little like shorts with Gwen Stefani. Um, And basically for people like Elise and I that are students and have a static resume with, you know, this is our GPA and this is our, you know, this, 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 and this is what's on our resume we obviously do a lot of auditions and we want to showcase things that cannot be showcased on a static resume. So with a thing like Muse, where you can put all of those things in one spot, it really is such a blessing to have um, as a performer. Um, I know, Elise, you kind of use it and you put some of your writing on it as well. That's like technically static, but it's all in one spot. I'm sure that that's really nice as a writer. It's And what I like about it is like when you're applying to jobs or really anything, and let's say you're in like more of a creative field and you're applying to work at Warner Brothers or Paramount and you want an internship and you just have a regular resume that says, oh, I write and film and stuff. But a Muse profile, you really think of like every possible app or program like on your computer, you can like upload it into your Muse and it lays it out so pretty like a social media page. You can upload YouTube videos. You can upload. I just upload Google Docs and PDFs of my writing. And then you can have like side pages or segues into like, this is my writing page. These, this is my photography. This, These are my poems. These are some songs I wrote. This is a movie I made on Vimeo. Go check it out. And it's all laid out in the same place. So it just kind of feels like one big package of who you are and what you do. And I think it comes in handy so much for artists and people on the creative side because it's a visual page. And I think so much of art and so much of this industry is visualizing it and not just like writing or describing what you're doing. You kind of have to just watch it and see it for yourself, like photography, for instance. And so um, it has just been a really easy way for me to kind of describe who I am and what I'm passionate about and not the typical standard resume format. Yeah. And I was going to say too, when you were talking about like applying for big companies or something like that, some a new added feature of Muse that is crazy. And I feel like so, so, so helpful is you can have your public page. Um, my public page is just like my, you know, link for my name. And then I put it in my Instagram bio. Um, so you can have your public page with everything that you want, you know, people to see but then you can also have private pages where it's unlisted and the people that you want to see it you can just send the link to and those are really really great I saw an example of one um with the owner Peter Thumb and basically it's like a cover level a cover letter but it's specific for you know a job that you're applying to so let's say you're some you know finance person and you're applying for you know a a crazy big finance you know firm or whatever Mm -hmm. and you want something that'll stand out to um to the people that are 
going to potentially hire you. Having that is really, really great and um, just provides a lot of, uh, uh, just makes you look a little bit more special. Um, and what, what were some of the, what, what, what do you, Ava, like, I don't even think I've looked at your Muse page in a while. Like, what are some of the uploads that you have? Because I want to add more. And I just was wondering, like, do you have YouTube videos? Do you have like Vimeo? Yeah, so I have, um, I have YouTube videos, like I said, of like the voice. I have kind of a little bit more, um, I was about to say indie, but a little bit more like personal uh, videos of TikToks that I just do in my room of like a cover that I feel like my voice sounds really good. Um, just kind of everything that I want to showcase off as a singer, a lot of YouTube. And the best part about Muse is that you can put um, an Instagram post, you can put a YouTube video, you can put yeah. links. Yeah, you can put just other links to other things. It's almost works as like, a portfolio think about like the way that linktree works where you can just have a bunch of links you know and you it's you know like a link tree of all the different links muse is great because it actually shows you what everything is if that makes sense yeah 100 percent. i i started using muse really just for like applying to internships initially and now I look at it as like everything I've ever got involved with, like a leak, because I've never used a link tree because I, I feel like it's all just laid out on one website at Muse where I don't have to click on separate links to go to them. But um, yeah. yeah, no, it's yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, I think this was just kind of like our plug to Muse because I think Elise and I have used it so much. Um, and it's just been really, really helpful to put everything in one spot, have something to send to, you know, if you wanted to do a gig or if you were applying for something, you really want to stand out and give them a full um, idea of who you are as a person. I think Muse is really a great, a great thing. So I think we'll talk a little bit more about um, the specifics and then we'll wrap up the show um, after this break. But uh, yeah, this is the Angel Baby Show. I'm Ava Lynn. And I'm Elise. And we'll see you right after the break. Thank you. Sorry.